international visitors. It is an environmental showpiece to suburbanites. It's a neighbor. And to city dwellers, the river is one of Boston's best features. Boston owes much of its scenic allure to the Charles River. From the air, the Charles is a cool, unwrinkled sheet of blue, stretching 80 miles from its freshwater origin at Echo Lake in Hopkinton all the way to Boston Harbor. I think that the Charles River is a resource that people have taken for granted. One reason? The river's long-standing reputation as a wasteland polluted with sewage and chemicals from old factories and mills. Folks that have lived around here for a long time remember the time that when you fell into the Charles, you were advised to go to the hospital and get a tetanus shot, maybe even get on a course of antibiotics. We've come a long way from then. In fact, today the Charles is swimmable on most days, though a dip in the water is not yet allowed officially. And riverbanks are a lush landscape. Snaking directly through 23 towns and cities, huge swaths of the Charles are unsullied and secluded. It affords people the opportunity to enjoy almost a vacation-like experience right here in your own backyard. You could live two towns over, take a ride to this area we're on, and not even realize it's the same river system. Greg Miner knows the Charles like few others. A lifelong fishing enthusiast, Miner founded Charles River Charters four years ago after graduating from college. Got something, a little something yet. His Norfolk-based catch-and-release fishing guide service reveals the river's remote splendor. Every day I come out here, it never ceases to amaze me. This is my office. Uh, it's beautiful. I feel very fortunate. Um, it's a great place to come to work to every day. And uh, as you can see, uh, you don't mind staying after 5 o'clock out here. <laughs> Last year, Miner ran 200 charters from downtown to Dover and beyond, where wildlife abounds among the wild brush and tangle of trees. It is a phenomenal fishery. A lot of people don't know that it is home to a very diverse bird population, uh, aquatic life, and fish in particular. There are many species of fish in this river. Board fish, game fish, you know, largemouth bass. There's northern pike in this river. Um, some of the waters back towards the suburbs hold trout, which is an indicator of very healthy water. That's a nice little fish. Almost two pounds. Miner has a few favorite spots. I love fishing this area we're in now. The Needham and Andover areas is beautiful. It's a very remote stretch. It holds some of the deeper water on the river. We have an average depth of 10 to 13 feet out here. Generally speaking, the river is more of a 6 to 8 feet. Most access to this stretch is with uh, canoes and kayaks. So it's very rare to see a fishing boat like ours out here, um, which is a great area for anglers who are looking for some good action. Very similar to that is the stretch that goes through Medfield and Millis. They're out here today, it's just a matter of finding them. The Blake Phillips has been on miners' charters several times. It just makes for a really good day on the water. It's, it's, it's like a, a mental massage of sorts. Just a, a great spot to come out and uh, hopefully catch some big boys. And, and even when you're not catching the big boys, there's plenty of good conversation to be had and, and a great backdrop all the while. We've never been skunked out here. The biggest fish that we've caught out here uh, was a just under a seven and a half pound largemouth. A uh, customer was fishing and, and he caught it. It was quite a fight. We barely got it in. To be able to come out here and listen to the surroundings, I think it's good for the soul to be able to come out here, unplug for a few hours, get back to nature, and just really enjoy the little things. surprised that it's 80 miles long. Yeah, 80 miles long, and a lot of people say, can you traverse all of that? It's hard, obviously, because there's 20 dams along the way, so most people sort of take it in five by seven mile chunks, something along uh, those lines. Um, upstream, it's a little shallower, a little rockier, and a favorite spot for kayakers. They have a great time up there, so plenty for everybody, but no, you really can't go the full 80 miles. Well, that's good, because I can barely do that little Newton <laughs> stretch where they rent the canoes. That's about it. All right, blame nature for preventing